Hello, everybody. Today, I'm definitely not having a great time. I'm starting to get a little sick. I can feel my nose is all congested. And on top of that, I have to make a video describing how to play Search and Destroy. Most people who play Respawn or COD in general, maybe just TDM, they don't really know. Ah, fuck. I should have checked there before I even started blasting. He didn't see me. Either way, most people I see, they play Search and Destroy really like this. Right in the corner. Never moving from their corner. Don't move. If you're playing UMGs, that's how you play fucking Search and Destroy. You just saw him. He's right behind you. Hey, you like get your teammate killed. You're an idiot. Ugh. My sick voice probably sounds really great. But either way, most people I see play COD, uh, play COD, Search and Destroy. I should be saying Search and Destroy, not COD. Because I don't play fucking any other game modes on COD. Most people I see play Search and Destroy are very notorious for the not moving attitude. This guy actually stepped it up. He grew a pair of nuts. He went and planted the bomb. Playing the objective is more than I see from 95% of my teammates. This guy's gonna defend him. This guy's gonna kinda defend him. He's not in the best spot for it, but if they come from either of these ways, it might be good, it might be bad. At the very least, he's gonna be bait for clutch. Nope, you're, you're going too far away, dude. Stay here. Uh, yeah. Not that it mattered, but... So, today I was going to try and make a short, maybe two, no, maybe a longer two-game video. Basically describing how to play Search and Destroy properly. In pubs, I, like, I really want to make this very, very clear. I don't play UMGs. It's been a very long time since I've actually played, like proper UMGs, sweated my ass off every round, M16, that's it, like, only gun they use is the M16 in UMGs. Shit. I knew that fucking asshole saw me. Why didn't you just focus on the guy shooting you, teammate? Why didn't you just push up and help me? There's one person left. There, this guy's gonna give away his position and not get him. There you go. But that's the deal. It's pushing up. Rule number one for playing Search and Destroy in pups. Push up and get map control. It will help your team so much, and 9 out of 10 times, it is the only thing you need to win the game on every map. If you push up and you get map control and your entire team is full on map control, then you're probably going to win. Number two is spawn nades. I'm looking way up in the sky here because I'm sure I'm going to get spawn naded. Let's cross. Yeah, that's why you don't do that. Just sit right here for a sec. UAV nice. It's another UAV. That's how you do that, by the way. He didn't have that figured out. I'm gonna try and get the airstrike. Oh, I'm so terrible with my nades. I suck. Oh, I know he's there now. Right 
I can't believe I did that. I did not want to auto mantle on that car. That was so lucky. Wow, these kids suck. The Christmas noobs are out and they're playing Search and Destroy. And that's one of the reasons I really, oh no, my controller died. That's one of the reasons I really wanted to make this video is because Christmas noobs are gonna have a real hard time playing Search and Destroy. And they may see it as, well, it's not fair, I'm not good at this game, or there's a reason why I'm losing every fucking game. And there is. There's always going to be a re Ugh, Fuck. Where did this fucking asshole come from? Jesus, I didn't even see him. He was just right on top of me. Pushed up, got map control. I didn't expect it. They were sitting back the entire game. Good for them. They actually know how to play the fucking game. It's a shame that uh, my team doesn't. This is what happens when you don't get that map control I was talking about. You end up blocked off in the back of your spawn. I'm going to try and forward this up because I've just talked about map control this entire game. Next thing is spawn nades. You saw me when I dropped that airstrike down. I dropped it right on the spot where I usually throw a spawn nade. I ended up throwing my, my first two spawn nades that I usually throw up that alleyway anyway. Because I find that people avoid mid spawn nades by going that side. If I went left side on our spawn and tried to throw them over that planter, that's also a great spot because there's plenty of cars over there that blow up as well. So this entire map's very dependent on spawn nades. They can't get to right street without going through mid or through that alleyway. So if I nade both those areas, they have to go left side or push mid. And if they push mid and dodge my nades, I'm a side panda. Oh, excuse me. I don't, don't like the sniffles I'm giving. So map control, spawn nades. Number three is gun skill. You're not going to win too much if you don't have base gun skill. Oh, I suck. I'm going to try and get somewhere else now. Because I whipped all my shit. There's a kill. What the fuck, man? I just got pistol whipped. I I don't know how my shots didn't count there. I'm very confused by that. That's an instance where I guess I lost with gun skill. If you encounter someone close range and they you both start shooting at the same time, nobody has an inherent reaction time advantage at this point. We'll just call it perfectly even. I don't know how that didn't hit. So most times there will be Whoever has the better reaction time will get the kill the fastest. I had a pretty piss poor reaction time there. Because I'm old. And my reaction time is degrading. And I got my ass handed to me. Alright. Well, I'm an idiot. And this is going to seem a touch scattered brain. But I'm going to backtrack to spawn nades. And talk a little more about them. On maps like Crash. On maps like District. Spawn nades are the most important thing. If you don't throw your spawn nades, you're probably going to lose. Can't believe I got in here so flawlessly. I didn't even get anything on that either. What the fuck? Where are all of these kids? I don't have a plant. Teammate, cover me while I plant this. Now they're almost all dead. That's sick. That's nice. I'm gonna go push mid. So that's honestly where I think they're gonna be either mid or in the back of their spawn. Jesus Christ. I heard him jump somewhere. I didn't know where the fuck he was. He scared the shit out of me. Oh man. I was very, very concerned. I had no idea where he dropped down from. I heard him drop down. 
She didn't know where from, man. It's nerve wracking. So yeah, spawn dates are extremely important for certain maps. Especially Crash, especially District. There's a few other ones that I might be forgetting, but they are extremely important on most maps. That's held too long. I'm gonna try and push up a bit. Thanks for the free kill. You didn't look behind you. I don't know where else they're at, but I don't want to stand here right beside my teammate. Putting too much heat on me. Okay. Three left. I don't really feel like abandoning my team at this site. I also don't feel like sitting here like a queer. Let's move. Nice teammate. The likely opinion. Up there, nope. Up here, nope. In any of these corners. And back here. This is how you don't play s &D. Camping in the back room with C4 like a faggot. I really enjoy that. My team shouldn't push him, they should just leave him and let him push us, because he has no tactical advantage over in a corner in the back of his spawn. It's a mistake I constantly make, but it's a mistake I make to keep things interesting. Mainly because I don't like sitting here doing what this kid's doing, or running around looking for him the wrong way, or just sitting not moving, because that's your option at this point. You saw him, come on. Get him. Get him, dude. Nice no-scope. And you killed yourself. My team actually might lose because they suck. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ. I don't know how that knife didn't connect. It looked like it was dead on to me. Yeah, I don't understand that. You could see him whiff a knife into his chest. That's a little concerning. As much as spawn nades really, really matter, there are ways around them. Most people don't know how to throw the right spawn nades. It's a huge skill gap, and the grenades are extremely, extremely powerful when used right. I could probably rush up here without throwing one. I'm going to throw my stun. He's going to kill me. He's going to get on that head glitch and kill me, or he's inside building. He's not. I'm lucky. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with this. They're probably rushing me right behind me at this point. Yep. Just gotta figure out where they're at. Wanted to test the water to touch over there. Throw a bomb down. Get up on roof. Toss one deep. Myself here in plain view to get sniped. Oh, he's not gonna be happy when I push him. Thank you. Other than that, there's not much else that I can really touch on and teach you for search and destroy other than just trying to outsmart and outwit people. I knew he was going to push our teammates dead on because he's a fucking idiot, so I flanked on him. There are certain things like that that it's difficult to explain is an understatement. It's it's difficult to explain why I'm doing it. It's, uh, it's almost just like a sixth sense. It's like, oh, I feel like this is going to work, so I'm going to do this this time, and it might work, might not. Now that's... I, wouldn't, I don't like saying that's what a lot of Call of Duty is, because it's not. It's not all a crap shoot. Like, I should have checked there a little better, because I knew he was fucking coming that way. I just thought I had a little more time. My team was going to be watching mid a little bit better. But they're not, and we're actually going to lose this round, because our entire team died very, very fast. A misplay on my part, I suppose. 
It could also be that these kids have figured out that we're rushing A building hard every single round because it's the most tactically advantage. Or it's... Uh, I don't even know how to phrase that properly. It's the most tactically advantageous spot on the map. There we go, I figured out my words. A building has the highest line of sight. It has the widest angles. It can see pretty much the entire map. If you get up on top of the roof, you can throw grenades to pretty much any point on the map except B and maybe over where we spawn right now. But you can get it pretty fucking close. You, you can get pretty, pretty damn close on that shit. One soft for sure. I check bottom. Make sure that no one came over here and camped me. Now I can go and worry about planting bomb. Cover me, teammate, please. They're spawn tubing me. Or, well, they're noob tubing me from their spawn. And I'm gonna go whip a grenade at them. in the open. Get my defuse on me. Yet. This is where I have to cover. That's game. I'm gonna rush out and get picked off. Wow, I can't believe I actually picked up that kill as well. I knifed to turn my stick so damn fast. Not bad. Try and remember some of these little tips, and they will lead to good scores and less deaths in Search and Destroy. I can't really provide too much information other than that. Play the objective properly. Push up and get map control. Throw your spawn nades, as many as you can get. Get three times frags as your first unlock. I recommend it, because that shit is so broken. You can get so many kills with frag grenades, it's absolutely ridiculous put that into perspective, I'm going to go to, yeah, no, it's, what is it? I don't know, where, I don't, I'm very confused on where that is. Yeah, it's here. I have a thousand kills with the AK-74U, 1,164. I use this gun a lot. It's my most used weapon, closely followed by the M16, which is second best weapon in the game, and then the sniper, AK-74U, or AK-47, M21. The rest of the guns, I don't use too, too often, but they are pretty fun, and I do enjoy them. Melee weapons, I've got a good bit of kills with them. Equipment. I have 800 kills with grenades. I've used 7,146 of them. I use them a fucking lot. I use flash grenades rather than stun grenades most of the time. I find them better for clean, clearing rooms. That's just my personal opinion. It has very little to do with the effectiveness of it. For rushing, it's actually less effective, mainly because you just end up wasting too much time. It takes longer to throw a flash than it takes to throw a stun. Though I have a kill with it, so that makes me feel really good. Not very many kills with claymores because they kind of suck. RPGs, even less. Smoke grenades and... What do you mean I have zero kills with grenade launchers? I got a triple with them a while ago. That confuses me. Radar and airstrike. I get radar and SD a lot and in TDM whenever I play it. Airstrikes, both. Helicopters, can't get an SD. I don't think I've gotten an SD helicopter ever. Only gotten them in t uh, TDM or other game modes. As you can see, Search and Destroy trumps every other game mode I play. Because I find it a lot more fun of a game. And uh, other than that, I'm pretty much out of shit to say. Make sure you get map control, push up, throw your spawn grenades. Use advantageous lines of sight. But that's more of a UMG shit. I don't play UMGs that often, as I've said before. In UMGs, you literally, it's like playing CSGO. You sit on the tightest corner, on the tightest angle, wait for you, you can see a flash of movement, and then you have to hit your shot. 
because everyone's using the M16. It's a one burst. Every kill is a one burst kill. I have no idea how they make those bullets hit every time. I wish I could make my bullets hit every time like that, because I'd have a lot more kills with the M16 if I did. But I can't really uh, make that happen. My accuracy isn't that good. And that's probably one of the reasons I don't play UMGs, is I might get my ass handed to me. I'm not afraid to. It's, honestly, if I'm playing with better players and I get my ass handed to me every game, I enjoy it. As much as I'm fucking angry, of course, I don't like to lose. But it's a learning experience. And that's one thing as you... I, ugh. That's one thing you should take it as. If you keep losing over and over again, it might not be because they're doing bullshit. Because I've lost quite a few games just because they're camping in the back of the spawn and my entire team pushes them at the same time. They all get killed. And I, I'm last left alive wandering around going, is anybody at bombs? Anyone going to play the objective sometime? Should I be watching this? Should I be watching that? I have no idea where they are. And then I end up dying. And I'm like, what the fuck? What do I do? What was I supposed to do here, team? Just keep it in mind that there are players better than me. There are definitely going to be players better than you. There's going to be players better than everybody. And if you lose to a player better than you, it doesn't look very good to go, oh, what the fuck? Like, my shots just didn't hit. There's something wrong with the game. My controller's broken. The sun was in my eyes in my basement. The fucking contrast on my TV was too high. My dick hurt. I had hard nipples at the time. Anything. You can throw out any excuse you want. You look like a little pussy for doing it. So if you get killed, try and recognize that you got killed by something superior or you got killed by something total bullshit. But that's enough for my rant today. I'll probably catch you guys later. I'm working pretty late tonight, so I probably won't be streaming tonight at the very least. I realized that quite a few times I've uploaded a video, said I was going to stream, and then missed my stream, so that kind of looks bad. I'll try and tighten up on it. Though, as I've said, my streaming schedule is not very concrete or consistent. But that's another thing I'm working on. I'm also working on getting a face camera soon, so I'm going to be dishing out a good bit of skrill for that. In the next coming weeks, I just got to look into it and find one that's actually good. I don't want to jump the gun and just get... A fucking just get me whatever fucking camera and I'll attach it to my fucking little thing and then I find out that it doesn't work so that's gonna be it for me guys hope you guys have a nice day I will see you guys later peace